What's happening? It's happening! <laughs> Something's happening. We miraculously have three sets of headphones set up here today. Wasn't that cool? That was slick. That was interesting. Was my, I, my prowess. Whoa. <laughs> I brought my child. One of my, chi- one of my children. One of my childs. Why don't one I of say my childs. childs? I like childs. I know. Well, there's so many words in the English language that just shouldn't be. Like mouse and meese, but moose and moose. I don't think childs is a word. No, we're saying it should be. Or it could be. Could be. It is now, maybe. Anyway. We can't have everything that we want, obviously. No. I think so. I think there's bugs in here. I'm being bitten. Ugh. I was going to show you all my tick bites, but I'm oh not... Oh my god. Oh, Ira, gonna... let me look at your armpit while we're here. I, Ira, I pulled a tick out of Ira's armpit yeah. a couple days ago. It was a teeny tiny one. It hadn't really really bit yeah too much yet don't worry they draw blood though yeah it wasn't engorged at all but you know what What? they actually do crawl out of drains like if you flush it down the drain it will climb back out i'm just telling you because i do the tape method if you flush one down the toilet it can get back up yeah that's what she's saying they're tough they're good climbers always take a piece of packaging tape and Seal them inside packaging tape and oh, then throw them in the trash. I was going to say that because my friend Stefan recommended it too. Well, we started putting thought them it. in the packaging tape because we used to collect them. Yeah. Because Eli, my other child, <laughs> made a um, a project, an exhibit for the fair, a collection of ticks. You know, in Floral Hall, you can you can right. enter your you know Legos or uh-huh. creations or your collection of things. Growing up, I entered my collection of horse figurines, but Eli entered a tick collection a few years ago. How did, did it get a ribbon? It did. It got a blue ribbon. And there was a tick the size of a grape. There was some really disgusting. No. Yeah. Engorged and then captured yeah. in yeah. tape. Like it had blown up into full size. Yes, That's basically. impressive. It was disgusting, but he had drawn a little cartoon of a tick, two ticks talking to each other in the center of the... Of the um, project and then he had all the ticks like pinned around the outside of it love that yeah that's great can you win a blue ribbon for the ticks you've picked off your and your dog's bodies in in the middle there's a drawing of two ticks on a dog holding a map saying like where's the blood or something no i forgot what they're saying (laughs) or i thought I don't remember what I don't remember I don't remember what the cartoon is, but it's kind of funny. Uh, too bad Eli's not here to tell us. I know he's mowing our neighbor's lawn right now. Yeah. Well, hopefully the lawnmower broke last night. 
Well, we bought another lawnmower recently, and it broke. Like, we brought, we bought it just, like, a week ago, and <clears throat> yesterday, Eli was mowing the wedding parking field, and it suddenly became a billow of smoke, and he shut it off, and it's not starting now, so. That's sad. I am super glad we just spent all that money buying it uh. to have it die. What about this morning? You were mowing. Were I you? mowed, I was mowing with the, our old lawnmower that we had before. See, we had bought this other one, so we could have two, because I can't get all the mowing done with one mower. Mm -hmm. And now we're back to one again. Wow. That's yep. all that happened to you this week. That's it. No. It was kind of so many other things. But we played tennis and mini golf. Oh. We did. We were very sporting this week. Sporty. Sporty. Mini golf is not a sport. What is it? It's like something you play. Okay. That's not a sport. Like it's a board game. Basically, like a board game is not a sport. You play. Mini golf. Okay, I get it. Well, there's some, there's I mean, some it's sport involved in it. Thing. It's physical activity, kind of. Although we were all grievously bad at it, and my sister-in-law, we were all just, like, confused as to why we we're so bad. John wasn't. Well, John's good at everything, but we were, most of us were really bad, but we were feeling, like, very judged by each other, even though no one was judging anyone else. And finally, my sister-in-law said, you know what? How bad we are at mini golf has, like, nothing to do with anything else in life. Like, everyone's bad at mini golf. So then we just felt okay about... It's funny. Or she said, she said, being bad at mini golf isn't, like, a deal breaker in life. So nobody worry anymore. It's funny. When stuff doesn't, when the balls don't go in. It's they only really funny. It's only not funny if somebody is there <laughs> who's super competitive I know. and who's making it too serious. Then, it, but if yeah, everybody no, just agrees that fun. this is stupid and the worse you play, the more right. fun it is. Yeah. So, so that's how you do it. It was all good because we all played very badly. Yeah. Huh. But although Eli kind of had the right idea for a minute, the kids play a lot of pool at my dad's house. So Eli got down on his hands and knees and flipped his golf club around so it was like a pool cue oh. and poked the ball into the hole a couple times that way and that worked much better for him yeah because they're actually good at pool so i see if anybody's having a really hard time with mini golf like don't worry about the club end of your golf club like turn it around and just poke at it yeah to the other end okay hey it worked not really well, he didn't win, but... And once he hit it off this giant rock they was standing on off the mini golf course, and he almost got it in from far away on top of a rock. Wow. Amazing. He's, he's amazing. Anyway. Wow. Anyway, he's supposed to be mowing the neighbor's lawn right now. Wow. That's what I was. That was my original point of all of this. I see. Well, speaking of games, do you know what l a LARP is? Oh, I've heard of that. Oh, yeah. LARPing. LARPing. It's like role-playing... Yeah, it's an um, acronym. Think about it. Yeah, it's uh. Let's it's see. Like all those it's cosplay live things. live action role playing. Yeah. Do you know, do you know what it is though? Have you well, seen it? Well, people are action? always like elves and um. I don't know. It's they like use a lot of adult make believe. Yeah. Kinda. Which I guess in a way is what I do every day at work. Too. Sort of. A little bit. But you get paid to do it, which is does which it count if I'm like a a re I'm an actual historical figure? I mean, not an actual historical... I mean, I'm portraying an actual an historical actual figure person. as my job. Huh. I'm not sure if it has to be... a LARPer? No, because... LARPist? Um, What's the... No, there's this. There's an organization called the Society for Interactive Literature, which would imply that they're taking real characters out of literature right. to LARP with. It's now... The LARPing that I've seen or heard of is more like people bringing, like, Dungeons and Dragons to life. Yeah. It's pretty lame, actually. Hey, it's not lame. Dungeons and Dragons is actually kind of fun because, like, Eli made this tiny Dungeons and Dragons game, and it was actually fun. Well, he made it. That's different. Huh. Well, LARPing has taken on a whole new dimension now because the intelligence agencies have are using it now to kind of infiltrate and uh, role play and create drama on YouTube. That's why YouTube has become this really crazy place because of the infiltration aspect. 
So, like, if they want to destroy an online community, they'll just, like, send in their little operatives and start to make drama and present false information as if it were true, as if it were being, like, oh, kind like of... the entire uh, government. Yeah, like it was leaked to them. And it mm. just people get sort of engrossed in these narratives that go on and on. See, but I just don't like anything online, much, mostly. I mean, I it's, it's pretty as addicted as I, as I am to some social media... I really don't love it. It's chaotic. It's just hard. It makes me feel stress. I mean, mm-hmm. I need it mm-hmm. for work. I need to like be, that's the only way that I know of to network and connect to people properly because people don't really read newspapers and magazines the way yeah. that they used to and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And so I got to be there, but I don't. Yeah, it's getting. The it's drama getting... makes me super unhappy. Right, right. Well, we try to keep the drama to a minimum on our pages, right? We just, I mean, we make it more personal drama. So it's not like trying to, it's trying to get people to identify with their own personal issues. Yes. Rather than, you know, talk politics. Why are you poking me, Ira? Can we turn on that radio to 96.5? We might get feedback. No, because it's like the radio, when we speak, there's a little bit of a delay to what people hear. So this will be right like three seconds behind us and it's very confusing and upsetting sounding how do we know if anyone's listening they're not no one's listening no so you can say whatever that's that's our theory anyway (laughs) (laughs) no there's a few people i keep running into people who say i listen to your show and my initial response is to apologize to them (laughs) every time someone says that i kind of blush because i just don't i don't I love our show. I love hanging out with you every Friday, but I don't know why other people are listening to us. So well, that's I, cool, but it's also super embarrassing when I actually come to face that knowledge that people actually listen. Yeah. I was going to say the word embarrassing because I think you and I just sort of live our lives embarrassed about that's ourselves. That's go-to emotion. It's our go-to. It's uh, like is, we're... Is, is shame. <laughs> yeah. So we operate from this place of shame. So so the second someone says, oh, I love your show. So it's like, oh, I'm I so ashamed that and I I'm do like, this show. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm so ashamed that somebody <laughs> actually listened to it. No. But, right. I just think that they're being kind by saying that. Yeah, then you have to apologize and for then like, forcing I'm sorry. them to I feel, sit through. Yeah, I feel like for some reason that they yeah. have been forced to listen to it. Yeah, isn't that weird? I, yeah, just like what I you know, like our children were forced Why to have us. Phone have duct tape on it. Can you try asking relevant questions? It's it's not duct tape. It's what, medical you tape. You don't ask relevant I know. questions. Sorry, for me. that was a stupid that thing was to a say. Good digression. I'm trying to train my child I, up better than myself. What duct tape? I don't see it. Can I see it from this side? Well, duct me- tape. It's medical tape. So oh, probably hurt. Good distinction. The phone just, is hurt. It's just yes. um, tape on the phone where probably people used to, it's worn off on the handset. It's where they had the number of the station written once upon a time. Yeah. Because that way you'd have to write it directly on the phone. You could write it on the tape and remove it if you needed to. Uh-oh. Where's Christina going? She's opened the door. Yeah. It is a little hot. Yeah. It's a little hot. You should be wearing your pajamas like me and you'd feel much My better. My pajamas are flannel. <laughs> oh. I wear them I, all, all I, summer. I don't wear my flannel pajamas in the summer. I well, usually wear nothing it's or still, just wear still winter at my house. t-shirt. Stop poking me. Ira. Whenever I turn a certain direction on this chair and lean back, it squeaks. Like if I go this way and then lean back, it squeaks. <laughs> like okay. Yeah, Please thanks. don't make me thanks. so sorry that I brought you with me today. <laughs> thanks for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> no, what are you going to say that's more important than that? Nothing. Come on. Do we ever say anything more? No. I mean, pretty much that's the kind of things Not we really. say. We're just I LARPing just feel, along. I just feel more adult. LARP should be a scolding verb. Scolding <laughs> him for being completely random when we do it ourselves. Yeah. LARPing is like what a stupid cartoon dog does, like when they're trying to run. LARP. Oh, it sounds more tongue related. Yeah, their like tongue is hanging and out. Lick, like a, a lick, a slurpy and lick. Lo- and lope. Lope. And a lo- slurpy and slurp lick while you're lick. loping along. Yeah. That would be what LARPing is. <coughs> LARPing. Ira? All right, we need a new signal other than you just poking me repeatedly. <laughs> okay. What, what right, happened? I'm glad what happened? He's, he's, what happened? He's spying on the daycare children. What happened? A child walked across the playground, apparently. It's very exciting. <laughs> it took, like, the entire show. They're little. What, what? They have little legs. <laughs> okay. Cool. Hey, talking about epic <laughs> ec- epic pilgrimages. 
I, t- I had an epic pilgrimage this week. Oh, really? Don't I always have some kind of you epic pil- pilgrimage? I, it's just part of my nature, I guess. But this one has to do with <laughs> the internet saga, like how bad is the internet in Vermont? Oh, yeah. And like the, the hoops that you have to jump through to actually upload something. I, I don't think I'm the only person that has this oh, my, problem. I, my computer is broken. Did well, you that's, notice I was... That's hard to upload. ...kind of quiet with, this week on social media? I couldn't... Yeah. Well, I, it's not my computer. I think I had a damaged memory card, so all the pictures I took all week, I would put them in... Ira, stop poking me. I would put them in <laughs> the card in the computer, and it would just sh- it would just say error. It wouldn't upload them. Ira! What? He raised his hand. That, that It's not your computer. That's John's computer. Your <laughs> computer, you broke it a while ago. Yeah. I didn't break it. Computers just die eventually. Yeah. They're not meant to last very long. Hey, so the company is don't way evade to make you his point. He's then, to... then why did is John's computer not broken? Yeah, or Emily. shut down? Yeah. Now he's had it longer than you have. Yeah. He has a more expensive computer than I had. I bought a <laughs> refurbished cheap one, and it only lived like six years. But actually, you feel just shame right now, don't you? My, this is Iris' whole point in life is to make me feel shame. Yeah. I don't know why. It's I birthed working. you. I birthed you and it really hurt. So you stop. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's get back to my story because <laughs> okay, uh, yes. I, you know, I had to upload a video. And you know how, oh, how bad that is, a music yep. video. So I tried it on my own computer. I didn't see any music video go by. Yeah, oh. that's because we had oh, to Oh, it didn't actually had work. To, okay. No, no. Well, is it there now? It's, I had to share it from YouTube, oh. and you know how they suppress views on anything you yes. share from YouTube to yep. Facebook. So a few people saw it. But what it took to get it up there was pretty epic. So I tried to, I left my computer on all night to upload, right? Yes. I thought for sure. Sometimes if they go to sleep, they stop <clears throat> uploading, though. No, mine, mine doesn't, because I, I sometimes I have to upload albums and stuff. Oh, yeah. So it's supposed to work, but I went upstairs in the morning, and it had been on all night, which feels creepy to have your computer Kinda. on all night. You yeah. know, don't you like to turn everything off? Well, I don't actually shut mine down, but I just shut the lid at least. Yeah. Ira, you're not to poke me right now. Let nope. He put his hand up. Computers, I think, listen to you, because like, we watched James Bond that came up with like James Bond on your computer. Oh, my God. Yeah, we know they listen to to us. That's awful. Even in Tunbridge, that happens yeah. on a back road. Well, no, That's we scary. figured it out because we have a our, we have one of those smart TVs, which oh, is uh-oh. connected to the internet. And even uh, though we didn't watch uh, anything off the internet, we watched an old James Bond movie. The next morning, when I turned on my computer, there was an ad <clears> for produce. <laughs> actually, it was strawberry. You, it was strawberries, which uh, is interesting because we yeah. just gone strawberry picking that day too. Oh, surprise! So surprise! They hit two birds with one stone. They it was an ad for some brand of strawberries, but it said berry strawberry, and then it was like the James Bond of produce or whatever. So it was interesting because we just watched Ooh, James Bond and we had gone strawberry picking. That's really bad. Isn't that weird? I know what I'm going to get you for your birthday. A piece of tape to put over no. my. I'm going to get the you camera on my Alexa. What? I don't want Alexa. <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. I, I would never, never want get Alexa. you Alexa. I'm just kidding. They listen to you because if you yeah. ask them if they like work for the FBI or something, they like shut down, I think. Oh, God, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so maybe we should be whispering so maybe Alexa can't hear us. If anyone has Alaska. Alaska. Oh, Alexa. Yeah. Huh? Ask it why fire trucks are red. What happens if you ask her that? Does there? It goes through a long, funny story wow. about like fire trucks or whatever. Nice. I don't. Even good think to know it's about fire trucks. It's a good tip for today. Why? Why, why are so, you talking? Like, yeah. It goes something like <clears throat> I forgot, but they're like wards red, and they cross over the Red Sea or whatever, and then. Something like that. I've got. Think it. That just think of that. Sense, fire okay. trucks. Yeah. Fire trucks. I just know. thought they were red, so you could see them really easily on the roads. So that. That's true. Some are yellow. True, but that you can also see yellow very easily coming on the road. Yeah, I'm glad that you're not like the secretary for the fire department anymore. I know. You're like I don't even know these crucial yeah, pieces you're of failing. information. Okay, so getting back to what, yes, what was I going to do? What do you think I did? I could not get it uploaded. And this was a job. Like, somebody was paying me to do this. You probably had so to drive somewhere to I do did. it. I did. So I Googled hotspots in White River Junction, right? Isn't yeah. hotspot a term? 
Uh, I thought it was like a little a no, no, rubbed no, blister no. on a dog's uh, butt. Can you call on the screen? Hot spot is like this thing that people can hot spot you from their phone to your phone. Like they have service on their phone, they can give it to your oh, phone. Man. This is an example of younger people just being smarter. Well, <coughs> he just well, probably I, wanted to go to a, a place with high speed Wi Fi. Yeah, exactly. And I thought needed. hotspot was a term for that, but I was wrong because nothing yeah. came up. So hotspot then I, is so like then a I, way to share. I, okay, okay. From one device well, to another. Well, I just I think, think search engines are stupid. Yeah. I'm smart. But anyway, so I searched, um, I searched next internet cafe, right? White yeah. River Junction. And I just got a bunch of restaurants. I mean, that's a term, internet cafe, isn't it? I think it's pretty good at maybe like the train station or Tucker Box. Yeah, but it's a restaurant. I don't want to sit there for two hours. The li- oh, the libraries. I wasn't The libraries hungry. have very fast internet usually. No, no. You just look up cafe with Wi-Fi in wherever you are. That's it. I should have done Wi-Fi. I couldn't think of Wi-Fi. It's not a word. I know. Wi-Fi. Didn't we have this Stupid. conversation before? What is Wi-Fi what is short why? for? Wired? No, it's... Fidelity? Isn't Wh- it like wireless... Fig Newton? It's <laughs> clearly yep, my that's child. It. He's got it. <clears throat> hey, yeah, I had a Fig it. Newton. I said at one point this week, man, I haven't had a Fig Newton in years, so I'm kind of craving them. <laughs> and John went into like a gas station or something while we were out. He loves guitar lessons, and he came back with Fig Newtons. Well, I thought he came back with Fig Newtons, because he handed me a couple of Fig Newtons in his hand, and he said, here, some Fig Newtons then. Uh, that's what And that's- I took a couple of bites, and I was like, this is not a Fig Newton. And I was right. It was an organic, healthy kind of Fig Newtons, which don't taste as good. <laughs> It's fine. I ate them, but you're like, so ungrateful. I know it that was is nice. Like why it was the Newman's own should, version? That's why people should get married. Is I know to, for that exact reason. Exactly. I know. I, it was the thought that counted. It didn't. I could tell immediately that it yeah. wasn't the proper fig Newton when I ate it. It just didn't taste as delicious. You're discerning. The chemicals yeah. weren't there coursing through my blood and it wasn't mushy enough it's like the texture experience it was a little drier yeah they are Um, they're harder they're drier yeah they're healthy i mean and they still it was nice of him okay so one last question you tell me to eat organic stuff because it's healthy yeah emily yeah, I, you I would like. I, I, I ate the. So I ate the. Fi, I ate the organic fig newtons. I'm just saying these are not name brand. These are not okay, look, fig newton fig newtons. I'm done with fig newtons. Okay, all right, go okay, on. I'm, no, I'm not gonna. I could. It's time for a song. Oh, but and we, I haven't, you haven't finished. Okay, your I'm just story. gonna tell you quickly. Yeah, I went. Okay. So I decided to go north to Barry because I knew I knew where to go in Barry. So I went up to. Uh, espresso bueno. Yes. Set everything up. You know, you Where it's set. always so cold. Remember, we can we go in there. It's really yeah, cold. Yeah, it's kind of gotta bring your down jacket. Yeah. So I set it up, and everything was going great. And then, like halfway through again, I'd been there for an hour and a half. Halfway through, it just stops. Everything God. like I can't. And I went up to the counter like three times and said, "Ah, uh, could you just check and see if your internet's on?" And she kept saying. She kept going back behind the curtain, looking at the router, coming back and saying, yeah, it's just sometimes it's a little slow. She kept saying that. So I was there for another half an hour trying, and I could, it didn't work. So then I'm like, it's pouring down rain, right? It's like half the day is gone, So, but I'm not going to give up. So I went into Montpelier, and I went to Capitol Grounds. There you go. They're and not going to have slow internet. No, the state, the capital of Vermont. Yeah. And the, you know, the coffee place, right? Yeah. And I had success. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So now we're going to hear a song and we're just going to, like, feel good about that. Right? I feel great. See, that was a feel-good story. (laughs) I mean, in the end, it was a feel-good story. Okay, let's see. We're going to listen to uh, So Many People Get It Wrong by my cousin, Steve. I want to raise you like a good dad should In a safe and friendly neighborhood In a healthy, happy home So many people get it wrong It seems so simple just to do what's right To love you every day and every night 
of the piano at the end i did that was kind of cool nice touches for endings endings are important just like beginnings true that oh the strawberries are ripe that's been a happiness yeah we're gonna we're gonna cancel fourth of july and have strawberry shortcake day Ooh, instead we made strawberry it's shortcake a, for my dad's birthday a couple days ago yeah replacement holidays that's i can't cancel fourth of july though because my dance co- company is in the parade so i have to i kind of have to like be there Oh, God, that reminds me. i got to get decorations for our giant tractor-trailer truck float, which has double-decker layers, so hopefully no one falls off. What, Ira? (laughs) Is there candy at Fourth of July party things? Parades? Usually there's candy. You don't let him run into the bank just to get candy, do you? No. (laughs) We are on a sugar... All they have is mint, and mint is bad. He hates mint. Yeah. Um, I don't like spearmint. You know, Ira's, I like peppermint. Ira's on a sugar fast right now, or I'm trying to, although we did cave last night, and he had a people, piece of maple, mm. a piece of maple sugar candy. It was a person. A maple sugar person from maple. Will's. Okay. And ice cream. <clears throat> I, was, I didn't get you the ice oh, cream. That was, that was um, not on my watch. That's what happens when you have two parents. Or no, four, it was my sister. My sister oh, took them while I was at work. family. To go yeah. to go swimming and play tennis again yesterday, and then they stopped and got ice cream later, and she didn't realize that Ira was Do on I? a sugar fast. But is that the train? Yeah, yeah. it's okay. coming. Okay, it came twice. <laughs> it did, I swear. I thought it was what past. A lucky train. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's never happened before. Not on this it show. It it was it was just a really delayed, um, extended. What? What happened to that thing? Well, read the label. It says music that. What? Music got a little too hot. Oh. It's a it's a. It's a record, a little vinyl well, well melted. album that's all melted hanging on the wall of the studio. <laughs> it's art. It is art. Uh, I don't think that happened naturally. I think someone took a blowtorch to that, actually. Yep. And pliers. Yep. But um, I got a spelling word today. Oh, good. This one stumped me. I don't know why. Because okay. it, it might be totally, you might just do it and you. I will, be, I I will feel ashamed. It? No, that's not going to happen. I can right. tell you right now. Ready? Yep. Stabilize. Quick, quick one. P. 
People are listening. Three three people are listening. Come on. S T A B L I Z E. Oh, you you're, our brains are so similar cuz I thought the word stable, right? Stable. Yeah. No. It's S What's that? That's an A. That's not an A. It's That's the S-T-E. way I make my A's. No, that is the way I make my <clears throat> A's, dude. No, isn't it S T E A or A? Um, no. No. Good guess, but Ira, you can spell way worse than I can, so don't even. <laughs> okay. So, are mm-hmm. you gonna? Are you? Do you want to suffer through this, or are you gonna like just want me to say it? Just say it. Okay. S T A B I L I Z E. Isn't that Stabilize. lame? Stabilize. That was my second guess. <laughs> Okay. It wasn't it good. Wasn't his you got three guess. points for that, Emily. Zero. <laughs> I get ten for having looked it up. Yep. Right. Yep. Okay. I think I deserve four points or five. Four and a half. Okay. Well, five. Okay, five. But we. I have to go on your word that you were going to spell it that way yeah, the next time. Yeah, he's a trickster. I don't know if I'd go on that. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, that was my first guess, but I just wanted to spell it wrong. F- just for... to make your mom feel good, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was nice. Uh, so he gets seven seven <laughs> points for that because he was thinking, putting you first. We just got him a drum set this week, and it's been kind of cool. He and his brother have been jamming out in their bedroom. It's very loud. It's very loud, though. Did they tell you that at the drum store? I didn't get it were, at the drum store. Loud. We bought it from a friend who was moving and couldn't take it. But it's like a child size one, and now I'm on the hunt for like a regular sized one. Mm-hmm. But What do you mean they couldn't take it? Like it was too loud or they couldn't move it? They they just, they're moving to North Carolina, and they weren't going to bring it with them. Oh, so they Their kid had outgrown it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> but I think I do need to get him a regular sized yeah drum set but my, my drummers they always bring their own drum kits do they so i don't know i mean i could get a set just to have but you know drummers good drummers they have, have their own they pretty much unless you're going to buy some really high end kit that you put together True. on the recommendation of all these great drummers but you can't. I the pricing is all over the place yeah like when i, I look on that. Craigslist. I mean, it's all over the place from a couple hundred dollars to like many thousand. And they always, the drummers always come in with like one special drum that they've just bought or they've just Hmm. like had refurbished or it's some incredible thing. And so I become the beneficiary of those amazing like nuances in their their kit, their drum kit. I have a snare drum, I think. Isn't snaring quite properly? You can adjust those, right? They have keys and stuff. I'm not you sure can tight how to. No. It I has, have a key, a Saiba snare drum key. It has key. like these weird like well, bead strings rattles. underneath it, yeah. rattles, yeah. and they're not, I don't think they're doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah, okay. You know what, you know what else you could do? You can get this rubber uh, mat that goes on top of a snare that quiets it down. It's like a oh, mute sort of. I don't think it needs to be yeah, quieter. It needs to. I saw those things in music class on a snare drum. What, the rubber things? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably at school they want them Because a choir. music teacher would absolutely lose her mind. Yeah. Yeah. It was a he. He would. He would, teacher. too. He or she. But we're getting a new music teacher now. What's the word for he and she, like, put together? Heesh. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's like good. quiche, Heesh. but different. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I should make some quiche. So, tonight, let's see, quiche. how do you spell quiche? Q-U-I-C. I don't know why you hate quiche. Everything to do with quiche is things you love. It's you a love, little eggy. You love pie crust. You love eggs. You love cheese. I, I won't be with you tonight, so you can make quiche. Thank you. Good uh, thinking. Thanks for your permission. Thanks. Thanks. Um, Geography test? I mean, since oh, we're into I'm testing, so and I'm I know you like... like far worse at that than I am spelling, and that's... In Vermont, something. though, this is a Vermont oh, all right. geography you test. You can try. I'm okay. still bad, though. I have no sense of direction. Like, if you come to a crossroads, even if I've been to it a hundred times, if you're supposed to go left, I will always choose right. Like, I just, I can't, I, I have, like, opposite problem in my head with well, directions. I, I'd just be surprised if you've heard of this town. Okay, give it to me. Chiselville. Nope. Is that, like, Elfville? Just, uh, just like Elfville, I think. <laughs> I, this might be just west of Elfville, possibly, <clears throat> you know. Hmm. A subsidiary. Jeez. Okay. What I'll happens there? 
I'm not really sure. It's in... This isn't a real... Na- this is like a village. This is like a sub... No, you know what it's near. You know what it's near. Where? Maybe you've heard of this place in Vermont. Okay. East Kansas. Uh, nope. And I'm serious. These are I real, not, these are real places. I have not places. heard of either of these places. What part of the state do you think it's in? Oh, it's got to be up. It's got to be up somewhere. No, it's not. It's south. What? It's Bennington County. I, I was going to say that. I was oh. going to say south. I am not lying this Okay, time. I believe you. <laughs> He's good. He's got some wow, common he sense. Guessing. He was. He was just guessing. Yeah. Wow. Chiselville is south. I mean, Kansas is kind of east, south. East Kansas. East Kansas. Um, okay. I'll give you. I'll, what the heck? I'll tell you what town how, it's in. You know, how, what is it? Do we have 250 towns in Vermont? Something like that. And how, I feel like I've mostly heard of most of them. Well, so yeah, these but are, that these doesn't are count. Villages yes, in but it's the towns. like, it's like Cookville in Corinth. You right. know? Well, Corinth has like five different different villages. Yeah, but it's in a Corinth. real place. It's a place. Yeah, you know? like Goose Green, Riders Corners. Yeah. Although that's I don't know if that's as much a place as Chiselville because Chiselville. How many of these names are like old names that aren't really used anymore? Too like in Tunbridge, like North Tunbridge used to be called Blood Village, and then South Tunbridge was a Market Village. Oh. And those names are no longer. I hot. see. Hot. Why is the phone off? Like, what if there's a really important call, and we don't even hear it? It's it's pl- it's, it's just not, not it's just not plugged in. It will it's got its phone line. Oh, that's the ringer. It's activated, but the ringer is off because instead of ringing, it just makes that's why bright lights going. We here. can never tell who's calling. Well, it's because because it's not plugged in or it doesn't have no. A the lights are behind you, so I just don't tell you when they ring because. Like, what are we going to do? Okay, let's get back to Chiselville. Yes, please. Okay, it's a small (coughs) section of Sunderland. Chiselville. It's just south of the covered bridge that spans the Roaring Branch in Sunderland. Do you know where Sunderland is? Uh I didn't. I actually had to look it up. Yeah, that one sounds more familiar. East. East. Um, East of where? East of um, us? Yeah. I don't think it is, actually... Is it west? You know what it's east of? It's east of Route 7. Yeah, I was going to say Route yeah, 7. Yeah, yeah, I know you were. I know you were. <laughs> this kid. Yeah. This kid is the biggest little shyster well, ever. Yeah. I, I'm i hoping that he's going to be a lawyer or a, like the boss of something because he de- can't do that any actual... Fun. He doesn't do actual work, but he's very good at bossing and... Um, or I want to be like a judge so I can like say... 20 years in prison and whack the hammer on this. Okay. Then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Court adjourned. Next to cast and judgment I'll and boss like, people around. I'll say go to the guillotine. There are no guillotines. And I don't believe we have uh, any <laughs> death sentences <laughs> in this state anymore. So you'd have to maybe move to but Texas. We could, we could LARP. Texas or maybe Alabama. You could probably get away with that in Alabama. He could be a judge. You don't really want to go could live pretend, there. Though, trust me. We could pretend that we're in Alabama well, and, and not. do a LARP. <laughs> <laughs> and he can be a judge. And I'll and be I, a put upon female. I'll be like Atticus. I'll be a lawyer. Oh, yeah. There's a sad aunt stuck in the window screen. Oh. Well, you could, you could help I'm it sad. if you were... That's the second time today I'm going to feel sad. Yeah. The first time is my new gardening client emailed me to say that he had to put his dog down. Oh, God. That's And I worst. was just loving that dog so much. I really love dogs. I had dogs. no idea. Oh, do you want a dog? Because I just saw a really cute rescue dog go through that looked, it, it was like as big as my dog's, but I can't, I cannot have three the size of my yeah. dog's. Like, I, just, I wouldn't have a house anymore. It's just. Yeah, I don't think I can. Our dogs are bigger than me. Yeah, they are. They're bigger than me. They're bigger than Papa. Yeah, they're large. They're a jumbo. <laughs> they are the on the jumbo. size chart on the Starbucks size jumbo chart. Jumbo size. In fact, I can or often gran- not grande. buy them things like harnesses or collars because you have to special order them because they're just too large. Yeah, I think we should get a saddle to put on Brock, and Brock's tail is longer than my leg. Actually, John just measured Brock from butt to nose this morning, and he was fifty-four inches. Wow! Not not counting the tail. Like, and you're gonna you're gonna have to have a western saddle because you need something to hang on to, right? I don't think you can't. I don't think we can't. should ride him. I think maybe like a, a little boy pistol. 
No, I think maybe like a little monkey or something. Could what do you got? Them. A lot of sticks, right? You can make guns out of sticks. Well, they what? don't shoot. I mean, I could just use a yes, Nerf they gun. Do. Well, what do you duct need tape. To shoot things for? What is, well, he's a boy. Boys, he has, to shoot, has to shoot stuff because things. they're made that way. And I need a rope with a lasso so I can like catch a sheep while riding. Yeah. You can't, this is you can't essential. Ride the this is Sorry. essential equipment, I, and yeah, I think a yeah. saddle for the dog is really a good idea because I yeah. wanted to have that too. Yeah, I really would have. I think dogs aren't built for being ridden, though. My I childhood need a sleigh for our dogs. Yes, that would be okay. Our dogs okay. could pull things. I think dogs. Yeah. dogs' you bodies could, are built more. What to is pull. called ski joring or something when you get pulled by dogs? Yeah, you could put on your skis yeah. and go behind the dogs. But if I had hit my dog, <clears throat> if we had had a saddle, yeah. On a dog for me, <laughs> <laughs> my whole child would have would have probably turned a, a different type of a corner. I just I feel like people shouldn't ride dogs. That's just like my oh, come opinion. On. Don't be so like PC. I can't, I like think it's all right for monkeys. Your dog, your I, dog. You love your dog. I would I just, just say, don't come think on, people, Brock. Come over their, here. Their spines and their hips are not made just, for we're just riding. Let's try something. This is an experiment. If Sometimes you don't he goes like between it, your legs and briefly we'll lifts off. you up off the ground, he and does that's that funny. All the time. Yeah, he but puts, you want to. He puts his head between my legs and just runs. So he like. Yeah, so he's already doing it. So he's like, already halfway there. Yeah, he picks me up and just runs with me. Yeah, the saddle is a natural extension <laughs> of what's know. already happening in nature. Well, only if I can get a little spider monkey to go okay. with it. I, just, All right. I feel like I human, I don't, I'm not humans arguing. riding dogs. Spider monkeys are cool. It's not right. But Hey, have you seen those tiny little fingertip monkeys? They're just so little. They can just like, they can hold on are to your finger. Are you talking like, about like biological animal? Yeah. Not like a sock puppet? No, like a real I live a tiny, puppet. tiny monkey. I have a really important thing to say. Okay. Yesterday, I was standing underneath the hummingbird feeder. And a hummingbird was on it, and it pooped on my shoe. Wow. It couldn't have been much it's poop. Intense. It wasn't. I, think, I don't know what I, actually, know what I, I would Ira do with that situation. was a hummingbird situation. in his last life, because he's really hyper, and he eats a lot of sugar. So, so much stuff happens in shoes, yeah. you know, or two shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what okay. it is. Somehow, the addition of my child has made us far more crazy and random than well, usual. I don't think so. Just no, maybe not. It's kind of a different, uh, different kind you know, of randomness. It's a threesome today. That's true. We have to go to a song. We better. Okay. <laughs> this is called Early Morning Blues, and I believe this is Gold Town. <laughs> Got them pearls on the moon.
coming down. No, you cannot have the microphone. Um, stop. That was Gold Town, which is, ironically enough, a band from southern Vermont in Bennington County, mm. or is is Manchester Bennington County, or is um. that Ben, or is that like? I should know this stuff now. John's, I mean, it, John's getting a sort of educated on all the counties and blah, 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 because. Yeah. I spend so much I, time I looking forget. at maps. I should know that. But not too. always county lines. I'm not as I interested know. in where the county lines are. I, I yeah. am now getting more versed on like where the districts are, where how they're divided up, because that's sort of what john's yeah i would i would guess that it's a little bit geographical in vermont that's you know some of the topography plays a part in how, where they draw those lines so. topography topography that's that just rolls off my tongue because i like a good mountains. word oh i'm very tired goodness i gotta i gotta rally here i gotta put on a wedding it's <laughs> just not your own thing. I know. Goodness. I know. Wow. This is this has been this summer's been a learning curve. We've never done back to back to back to back to back weekend after weekend wedding 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 like yeah every year is. that we've done our business so far for the last four or five years we've never done two back to back before and this summer we loaded the whole thing so it's yeah it's it's exhausting. Ira, are you going to say something yeah. relevant? Yes. Yeah. Where does that door go to? It's just a closet. You can go look if you want, but take yeah. out your headphones for before you walk. So there, it is this big festival weekend. Yeah, but we I'm not going. To you, the two festivals that you I'm, mentioned, you no. mentioned Jenny Brook yep. and, and the uh, Patrick Russ camping. Yeah, but oddly festival. enough, I, a friend of mine who's from Ireland contacted me yesterday and said he was going to be at Old Songs, which is down near Albany. Another festival. Yeah, so I'm going to go down to that. Whoa. Cool. Yeah, we would have gone to Patrick's, but we have a wedding, and the kids are going away to visit their dad this weekend, so it just, I just, I'm not going to be able to swing it. Just cannot, can, no can do. Yeah, I don't usually have fun. What, at festivals? Well, I just mean in general, I for, kind of forgot how to have oh. fun. Well, uh, you and I should go to something together at some and point, have some because fun. I'll force you to have fun. Can we fun. practice? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm you weirdly that, good at forcing other people to have fun sometimes. Well, if you, no, you aren't. Not you. You're my child. Well, he just doesn't have to force you. You guys like you to have, have fun. fun. You know yourself. how to, it comes naturally to you to have fun. But you make me do chores. But we're not talking about well, I'm chores. Not, I'm not going to make Christina do any chores because she's a grown up and she can, have she my forces own chores. herself to do chores already because that's part of being a grown up. All like, I do is chores. Your mom doesn't tell you All what to time. do anymore. You have to, you have, you still have to do the things, just no one's oh, telling you. So you Wait, so you like, still have to do the things. If I move out of your house, I can just like eat a ton of sugar and like. That there's there's always there's always uh, repercussions for doing whatever you want. Then you'll be sick and you'll go to the hospital and you well, realize, then, oh, who does the chores? Because there's chores yeah. like everywhere. You could move out, but then where are you living? Yeah, and that place happen? has chores. How would your right. how would your clothes get clean? And how would your meals be made? And how would your bathroom be scrubbed? And all those things. You scrub the bathroom sometimes. <laughs> Somebody has to. Oh, that's. Embarrassing, isn't it? That, what? That somebody has to get down on their hands and knees and yeah. actually scrub the toilet. Actually, occasionally you I've made your you hands in. into the bath. Well, the like the the toilet the bowl. No, that you know that little scrubber thing that's right next to the toilet bowl. That's yeah. what that's for. That's a toilet cleaning oh, it apparatus. Is? It's good. Yeah. Honest, I'll show you how to use it sometime. I it was like a thing you pick up and use it to curl your hair. No, I hope you've not been using that in your hair. Okay, how about you stop talking now and we'll finish our show like normal people. Bye, everybody. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. But I know. That was, yes. you know, okay. just in, in, in advance. <laughs> I forget even what we're talking about. What I don't we even about? know. We're talking about going to festivals, having fun. Oh, trying yeah, yeah. To, trying to kind of regain some sense of youthful, you we know, don't, levity. You levity. and I don't go out in public too often together. Whenever we hang out, we just hang out at home or something. We should try. We should try and see. Didn't Other I, than thrift shopping, I suppose that's sort of I public Didn't I fun. have some idea of somewhere to go? You did. Where was what it? Where was it? It was a long um, time ago, like two weeks ago. I said, Ira, I'm going to ignore shoot, your raised hand Let's right go now. shoot some photos or oh, something, yeah. but which we, we like to do. Yeah, but we didn't decide where, did we? No. I gave you the assignment. You guys go to Chelsea 108. 
That's public. We haven't been to Chelsea 108 in a while. Ages because I usually have to book it out of here because there's always either a wedding or work or something that we got to go to. It's harder in the summer. And we, we specifically like to go for their cocoa, and that feels weird in the summer. Well, not that I weird. I still have some cocoa. Well, it's, it's just, cocoa doesn't taste as good when it's hot out. I, I just want to, we need to reorganize things a little bit. We do. We just need to have lives that feel more um, filled with uh, joy. Yes. Fullness. I need to, I want to cut back on the things that I do, but I'm not really, I can't decide what to cut. It just feels like everything I do is very crucial and I don't. I know I got to cut something out, but I haven't been able to prioritize and figure out which thing to cut. Oh, it's so hard. It's like you have to make an appointment with yourself to try to figure that stuff out. I know. Cut snowboarding and start skiing. Oh, jeez. No, I That's don't mean I'm going to replace something with something else. <clears throat> yeah, this happened to me just this morning. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know if this happens to you. Like, sometimes you hear a certain bird call and time stands still. Yes. Like a crow, call, the caw, caw, caw thing. Yeah. It will take you out of time and place or it will take you back to another time in your life. So that's what happened to me this morning. I heard the caw, caw, caw. And then suddenly I was transformed to a time in my life when I actually had long stretches of my life that were not filled with anxiety or depression or anything like that or fear. Hmm. Which smells, and I, I, smells do that for me too. Yeah. And I realize that that's so, uh, I have so much lost. I have sort of got all this yeah. baggage now and I, and I need to kind of start to throw that off somehow. I'm not quite sure how, but that's what we're talking about. Ditto. Right? Ditto. Yeah. I, re- I thought you were, I thought you had baggage. signed out here, buddy. No, what you- this is, this is like relevant okay. to what you're talking about. So like when I smell something, it like can remind me of a place like yep like the same smell yeah apparently your sense of smell is supposed to be your strongest sense that's that's the most directly related to memory yeah like, like a more cedar, than sight. cedar chest yeah. or lilacs or what like what kind of smells make you think of a place do you, can you think of one no okay some weirdly sometimes, sometimes the combination of decomposing food in my refrigerator Pulls me back to childhood occasionally. Like, I, and I'm right in front of that, like, avocado colored refrigerator of my parents in our childhood home. Just certain, not, not, it's not like rotten food, but it's just, you know, like the certain combo of certain foods makes a very specific smell yeah. that it or zings me right back to that smell of uh, pine needles. Oh, I with, love that smell. They get like warmed up in the summer. Yep. And you're walking the barefoot sunshine. on them and that smell. They're a little prickly, but a little sticky, but a little soft. And yeah. Yep. There's so many. It's funny. I love smells. It's funny. These little like. Um, it would be really sad. I've never really thought about it, but losing your sense of smell would be terrible. I'm just I've terrible. lost mine quite a bit, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Hot. Why are there weird hooks on the ceiling? Well, we've contemplated that before. We think that this room used to be, uh, that somebody might have had a swing in here. A swing. No, thank you. Like a porch. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, it doesn't look, maybe they just had a swing. We used to have a swing in our house. I put up a swing. I still have the swing in the basement. I would like to put it up again. We had for a, the next round, the next generation. Growing up, we had a regular swing in our living room, and then we had one of those like airplane swings, the kind that you pump oh, back those and are forth. fun. And then we had a hammock for a while in our living room. That was nice. But you never let me lay in my hammock because you say it's gonna make the ceiling fall in. That's probably true in well, this case. Your hammock isn't set up to be like a people hammock. The kids have hammocks over the tops of their beds, but it's just. They just have little hook and eyes into the beams, and they're just sort of holding yeah. all their stuffed animals. And it's way up high on the ceiling, too, so I don't want them getting in it because they're going to flip well, out. Well, because you're, you're also worried about all the books in John's, John's books, John's like books making the right. house fall down because there's so many books, the weight yes. of the books. Books so. and records. I've been in the hammock before and laid there for a while. Oh, God. Okay, confessions. I'm just saying when we Radio when is we a great place to have <laughs> con- true confessions. Do we have any other when true confessions? What else didn't you tell your mom? We installed it. It is wasn't it okay? made to hold a human. It was hey, made to hold stuffies. He's trying to tell you like something. Two days ago, yeah. Eli and I snake, sneaked a ton of Rolos. Oh, my God. That's why I hid them. Because you're supposed to not be eating sugar. Remember that? Remember that thing? Yeah. He's remember a boy. How, remember how you sad your tummy he feels? I ate like 20. I only ate like four. 
Okay, we'll just let's let's try ex exhibiting a little self control like, around sugar. Yeah, he no. He needs more sticks. He needs guns. He has. He, has he needs every to like kind of let toy out and stick. the you know that kind of what do you call it male testosterone. I was gonna say That's that. Why I got him That's drums. a little scientific. Drums but seem like very satisfying. I, I just shoot things. He's, he, he wants to shoot stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's. I, you know, I used to say to Wilder, oh, you shot me with your love gun, right? Yes. And yes. that, and he still remembers that. He still shoots me with his love gun. <laughs> That's so cute. Is he really? Yeah. What's a love gun? It's. Like if you're going pow pow with your hands at things. I mean, if it's, well, basically, it's a little more complicated. If somebody's trying to shoot you and you don't want to receive a bullet <laughs> that you tell them this will work very they, well in all cases of violence well it's a first step it's just i'm just a first step it's a baby step granted but so okay. you say to the other person oh thanks for shooting me with your love gun and it disarms them to some extent it's no fun anymore if this only just works if the gun love. is not an actual actual so gun like Let's. Let's. I'm was sorry. Get out of I, control. No, I. Really this is a very complex ten. topic, and I'm just skimming the surface. I mean, there's I so it. much more to say about this. I think this it works good with squirt guns, pop guns, and sticks. Pretend guns. I mean, I'm really sticks. just. I'm talking about. Nerf guns. Yeah, foam. Yeah. Foam guns. Yep. You know, love guns. It's all. It's a certain genre of guns. <laughs> <laughs> And a very important one, yes. because what is a gun? It sends a projectile, right? And what is the projectile? You're, you're no longer allowed to raise your <laughs> Wait, hand for any purpose. Say one thing. No. Let him say one thing. I want to know. Is a shotgun a love gun? No. I would say not. Not in the traditional sense, no. Oh. No. That's not quite... I, it is important to make that distinction. But what I the point here is it's the power of transformation with your intention. So if you intend to, um, you know, all your instinct to shoot stuff, and if I keep telling you when you're picking up sticks and so on that you're actually shooting love out of your guns, it's eventually going to have an effect on you. That's my theory. And guess. I have raised children, so. True. That is true. Yeah. Oh, don't you hate when you feel like there's a hair somewhere stuck in your eyelash, but you can't find it? You always have problems like that. I that do. We have to get off the air. Ira, that you're not speaking. Ira, Ira. No, I'm, it's not we my have, eyelash. <laughs> we have to get off the air. We can't. Whew. We can't talk into the future and o over the boundary line. Goodbye, everybody. We shoot you all with our love guns. Yes, we do. Including and Ira. <clears throat> we're going to go out on a song called Whistling Rufus. Rufus. I believe this is Patrick Cross. A dog. It's a dog name, not a person name. Yeah, it's probably what it's about. So okay. thanks for listening. <laughs> See you guys Maybe. next week. Have a fabulous weekend. And Ira's awesome. <laughs>